hi guys <laughs> hi welcome back to my channel so today i am filming <laughs> i'm filming my my canada experience video if you cannot tell from my shirt um yeah i'm filming my canada experience video oh my god um i asked for on instagram i asked for um what video you guys wanted to see for my instagram fam i want to me load instagram <laughs> so they said they wanted to see my canada experience video i'm like really like y'all want to know um what i feel about canada um do you guys know that um when you fast forward on instagram stories when you skip someone's story the person knows when you swipe out of the story and don't watch it till the end the person knows did you know that i just found that out so if y'all not be watching my instagram stories till the end i see you i see you today is my canada experience video um i'll be talking about my experience in canada how i got to canada what i did in canada and why i left canada so first things first i got to canada january 2016. so january 2016 that was three years ago so i got to january 2016 i came to canada from england so directly from england i applied for my application from england um, i did everything from england my application process took two weeks um for most people that i've spoken to that's one of the fastest canadian application <laughs> that um has ever happened from most people that i've spoken to some people say that their application takes two months um from outside nigeria um i think in nigeria they say it takes like 100 days even more so depending I applied from England and it took two weeks like literally two weeks to study project management which would be it's a postgraduate diploma in project management in Centennial College Toronto Ontario so that's how I came to Canada um, and then it was a one-year course when I came I didn't know the rule of you study for one year you get a one-year work permit and you study for two years you get a three-year work permit now when I came in I didn't know that so I just studied to for one year because um, the agreement with my dad and me and my husband um, my boyfriend at the time which is not my husband um, <laughs> at the time was um, I was going to study for one year and then from there um, we'll see what will happen basically if we're gonna get married if I'm just gonna live in Canada or whatever the case may be so that one year was for me to figure my shit out basically was what my dad was saying and he wasn't gonna pay for another one year he wanted to pay for just one year and that was it so if if I chose to take a two-year course I was gonna pay for the next years when I came um to canada i started school in january and yeah it was really nice now when i came to canada i didn't like it because in my head when i moved to england england was it because uh, for those who know i moved from india to england and when i moved from india to england i had no um uh, intentions of moving out um england was supposed to be it for me so when i moved to england i i really thought that that was it and if you notice that's why i never did i did uh, my experience my life in india but i never did my life in england because i still hold like i hold like not not like a like a grudge not a grudge it's like like england is, is like it's a touchy subject for me like like it's just thinking about it now like it, it just make it like i could cry when i moved to canada i was sad yeah my first one year in canada was I, like i would i don't i don't want to say i was depressed because like i, I don't i don't know what depression i don't want to say i don't know what depression is but because i didn't want to start all over again i didn't want to um leave like i was like i had to start all over again new friends find new church find a new like even basic stuff find new grocery stores for, like I, I I was not willing to start all over again and I remember leaving 
the day I was leaving, I left at like very early in the morning. I remember I left Liverpool at 4 a.m. And my friend Abby, she dropped me up at the train station because I was flying out from Manchester and I lived in Liverpool. So I had to take a train from Liverpool to Manchester. And I remember her um, like at the train station when I got on the train and the train was leaving. She was just standing there and waving to me. I, th I think she cried. I don't remember. So I remember her like just standing and I remember thinking to myself and I'm like, this could be the last time that I see this girl. And I'm like... That, that alone, every time I think of that moment, it makes me sad. So, and not to talk of thinking of not, of, you know, leaving my sister. Like, my sister, I knew I was going to see at some point. Because she's my sister. Like, some, some way, somehow, I will see my sister. Is that that she flies to me or I fly to her? Like, some way, somehow, we're going to make it work. But, like, for my friends and the people that I built a strong relationship with, it was very sad to leave sad about being here like being in Canada I was sad about school like I didn't want to study no more like I was done I had I did my undergrad I did my masters why do I need to do a postgrad again I was sad about going to school um you know doing it all over again so my first one year I was sad I didn't go anywhere I didn't go to church my first one year in Canada I didn't go to any church um, I had roommates, that's um, Bissela and Miriam, I had them, and we, you know, they're Nigerians, we talk, we go out when we could, and all that, but I didn't do any extracurricular activity, I didn't go out of my way to meet people, I didn't go out of my way to be nice to people, or to even, like, I was just by myself, basically, I was just with me, myself, and I. 90% um, of the time, I was on FaceTime with um with daniel which is my husband um i i was like that was my first year like i really didn't do much because i was just i was just not with it i was just like i'm here for this one year and then after this one year i probably get married and fuck out of here like <laughs> that was like literally that was my thought because me and dan we know like we we knew that we were gonna get married at some point so whether it been this year or the year after, I knew that I was going to leave Canada at some point. Canada was just a, like a, I don't know, like a transit. It was a transit to the destination, which the destination was America. And America wasn't feasible at the time, so I chose Canada. So it was a transit to my destination and that was it. That was how I thought of it. That was how it was. That that was how I wanted it to be. Basic. When school was over and everything, um, and then it was like, so what am I going to do next? So when school was over, everyone was applying for their work permit. Then I'm like, I don't want to work here. Like I don't. Like I I, I don't want to settle down. Like if I settle down here, I don't want to have to move anymore. So I was like. Am I going to apply for my work permit? Like, I don't want to apply for work permit. I don't want to leave. Like, if I settle down here, I don't want to leave. So, what do I do? But when me and Nan had a talk, and he's like, you know, like, it is what it is for right now. So, I applied for my work permit. So, I started working. Um, then, when I started working, then it just, it just, I think when I started working, things became simpler for me like I I was I was more relaxed if, if that made sense and when I started working it was just like you have to talk to people at work like you can't just be like by yourself all day you would have to talk to people at work so I started talking to people at work and at that time I already started going to church so shout out to all my Center of Life members that's the best church in Toronto if y'all are in Toronto Y'all need to go to center of life. That's the best church in Toronto. Anyways, so I started going to center of life, and then I started meeting people. Um, people at church, people at work. So then I started. It's not like I didn't know them before. Like obviously, I knew them like outside church because most of the people that um, were in my church, they were in my school. We went to the same college, so I knew them. But there was not. It wasn't a let's hang out type of this was it was like okay i know you hi what's up like that was it so 
I started going to church and then I started working so there was like I started meeting more people and then I became a little bit more open to hanging out with people so um, fast forward so I'm working 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 then was at work I met my friend this way so um, so I, I would go to church on Sundays and you know meet with um, my now group of friends that I call or it. um so meet with them hang out with them on Sundays and then back to my regular Monday to <laughs> sad life Monday to Friday so at work I met um, at work I used to be by myself I used to sit by myself during lunch and so I'll just sit by myself I used to read a book um what to do when you um no what to expect when you're expecting I, I was re I used to read that book so one day I was reading that book sitting and reading a book and then there was this random guy that just walked by <laughs> and anyways but that and that's how i met Deswin. and then he we started talking so we would talk about like random stuff at work so every time i come to work i'll see him talk but then i'll go back to my random life so one day we were talking about me and i was like and then i i think i said i didn't like canada and he was like why so i told him why like i'm just here to you know pass time and you know and then he told me he's like look at it now if you come here and you pass time and then you go to america and then you look back and you don't have any fond memories of canada how would you feel and then i thought of it and i was like that's true because why is england so special to me was because I have good memories of England. I have fond memories of England. Why is India so so special? Why does India have a place in my heart? It's because I have fond memories of India. I have lovely memories of India. I have um, good memories of England. So, so that day I went back home and I was like, huh. That 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 struck um that struck a chord with me. I was like, huh that's true you know if i if i moved to, to america and i remember canada and there's nothing fun and everything was sad like that like that's nothing so i started opening more and <laughs> going out more then i started hanging out with people outside work so um people from work would meet up that's how i started hanging out with janae too shout out to janae um outside work and we would text and you know all that stuff um and then church people too so my friends from church they would message me and say oh we're going to this this and this let's go sometimes i sometimes like sometimes i would be absolutely doing nothing and i would still say i'm busy <laughs> i would literally be doing nothing and i'll be like oh i can't make it <laughs> literally i was that sad like i was like i really didn't want to do nothing um i didn't travel i didn't i didn't go anywhere except from toronto i never went to manitoba or alberta or british of columbia like i never went anywhere like i was in toronto and america if i'm not in america i'm in toronto if i'm not in toronto i'm in america like i never did anything extraordinary like i wasn't I wasn't my full self, if that makes sense. Because me being my full self, me being Lara, was me traveling places, was me doing things. Um, now, when Dan came to visit, I would do things. I would go out, we would go to Niagara Falls, we would go to restaurants, like, yeah. Um, we would go to like restaurants, we would try new things, we would go painting. Like, when he was around, I would do stuff. But when he left, I was just like, to the regular regular stuff so so this was 2017 yes this was 2017 so I said um, you know going out hanging out and then um, I used to I would hang out with Desmond's mom too and she would take me places and you know and then make me feel like like introduce me to Canadian stuff and take me to like Canadian events and stuff so that that helped with my Canadian experience and then 2018 April I got a get I got engaged so 2018 April I got engaged 
So we went to Dubai, we got engaged, and then we came back. So when we came back, I was like, okay. So we had to have the talk. So I was like, okay, do I apply for my residency or I just not apply for it? And just wait for my work permit to, or extend my work permit. So that was, that was a thing. So like, do I extend my work permit or apply for residency? Work permit residency so we had to discuss that so we decided that I was just gonna extend my work permit and not apply for residency instead for PR um PR was gonna cost more money and take more time than extending for work permit so we we're just like okay just extend for your work permit then call it a day so I extended my work permit and then that was it now Canada for me, when I think of my Canadian experience, what comes to mind is growth and development. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's how I feel about Canada. Because for Canada, I feel like I became an adult. Every time I think of Canada, I feel like grown. I feel grown. When I, when I think of Canada, I feel grown. Because in Canada, I started working. In Canada, I started paying my own bills. Because my dad was like, after that one year, shit isn't coming from me. So you would have to fend for yourself, ma'am. You would have to pay your bills, sis. <laughs> like he was like, I'm done. Me coming, me coming into who I am. Like me becoming who I am. And um, I love that part. Like now that I think of it, I appreciate um, going to Canada. I do not regret it. Um, I wish I spent more time doing more things. I wish I went more places. Um, but still, um, thinking of it, it was it was it was growth in every area of my life. I worked. I saved. You know. Um, I, you know. I planned a wedding. You know. Like it was it was me being me. Like things that I thought I couldn't do, I was able to achieve. Um, by being in Canada and another thing about Canada is Canada is a land of opportunities you can be whatever you want to be I love every person that I met especially my group of friends um they showed me love like never before like I still think like sometimes when I think of it and I'm like why do these girls really love me because I ain't all that <laughs> like sometimes when I think of it I'm like I'm really not all that like why do they like me so much? So, I don't know, but I really do love them. Um, they are my ride or die. I have, they have a place in my heart. I, I love it. Like, will I go back there and leave there? I don't know. Um, but I would always, like, I would, I would go back. Like, it's right there, you guys. It's, like, Canada is literally right there. It's, like, five hours away, driving. Um, if you're in Canada and you're not, like, growing, and looking for means to grow and find opportunities like it's like what are you doing with yourself like what are you doing with you you like what are you doing you get left out like even i feel left out because all my all my friends they can drive i'm the only one who can drive <laughs> like legit i still cannot drive and everyone else can drive everyone else has their license but me i still cannot drive can you imagine that that I still can't drive. Um, if you guys want me to do a video of how to apply to Canada, I can do that because I just helped somebody to apply and the person got, got their visa and they left. Um, if you want me to um, do that video, I can do that. <laughs> like I said, like I, I tell people, I'm like, if there was, if there's any country you had an opportunity to apply to um, and get residency, I would say you should apply to Canada. Um, it takes now Canada takes a long process it's a long process it's not a apply today get it tomorrow type of process but it's a worthwhile process it would take time it would take money and effort but if you get it it would be worth every single penny thank you for watching um, my next video I don't know what my next video will be but whatever it is, I'm going to link it in the description. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in my next video.